We're back live here in Guatemala City, Gary and Gustavo. You're watching Girls 18. We're tied at one. Best of five wins the match. Aguilar coming in to serve, having earned her first point in this third set as a receiver. It's rally scoring, first to 11, win by two. Bringing her. in the big mo. Big mo. Big mo. Momento. Nicely done. Quickly up 2-0. We're having some uh, transmission problems there. Hopefully we're, we're live now. PanAmSports.com. YouTube. Facebook. Punto. 3-0. Impressive, Aguilar. Very first, focused. First time with the Pan Am channel. We had the opportunity at the World Games. First time with the Olympic channel. Straight up, straight down ball. Mancilla, Chile. One, Aguilar, Guatemala, three. Ball live. Two bounces. Rather apparent from our angle, Gustavo. Yeah, Paola claiming she got it, but no. She can appeal to her opponent. Ball stands. 4-1. We had contact, we'll do it again. First serve. That's a good call. She held her racket up. Half swing. Granted the contact hinder. Different twist, safety hold up and avoidable. Yes. Good call. So it's the first time she went with that cross her body jam, comes into the middle, which ball came out, veered too far to the right off that back wall. And thank you to Paola for holding up. That's the first concern. And let the ref call it, and he did. Error. No forzado, unforced error. Tres sirviendo cuatro, says the referee. This match could go five. Kind of a loose drive, three wall Z. Gustavo next up on this show court for streaming will be likely at one o'clock Mountain Daylight Time. Right now it's better part of 12-15 here in Guatemala City. All tied up, 4-4. Mancilla trying to gain, regain momentum she had from game one. And that match will be women's doubles. The rally scoring has been great for keeping the game's moving, the crowd engaged. That ball hit her opponent, the server. Uh, the call is, I believe, dead ball hinder replay, first serve. She's locating that drive Z to the left side, Gustavo. She certainly is. She realized she's got to change something. She's done that. Now we have a timeout from Team Guatemala. Aguilar, one minute. We'll stay here. Gary, uh, doubles, obviously the, the uh, level of play that we've seen in doubles from both the men and the women has been exceptional. I, um, uh, we saw some, some matches yesterday. And, and the and mix, mixed, especially mixed. A couple days ago, we had overtime, uh, 17 to 15. 
USA and Ecuador. Yeah. Fascinating match. That was one of the longer matches. Most matches with the new scoring system, 40, 45 minutes. Some take over an hour. But historically, most matches went over an hour. From a scheduling standpoint, doesn't make a lot of sense. And uh, we mentioned reasons why uh, IRF adapted, adopted the uh, scoring system, rally scoring. And why don't you review those, uh, Gustavo? So the rally scoring, you serve while serving or receiving. You're allowed one timeout per game. You're playing three out of five. Got to win three to, to win the match. Uh, two minutes in between um, the games. And uh, basically, you have one, two appeals lost allowed per game. Unfortunate. But we're not yet into the uh, having lines, folks, so there's no appeals had as of yet until the semis and finals. Thank you, sir. Mancia, seven, Aguilar, four, game three. They're tied at one. First to 11 will win this game, assuming there's a two-point spread. That's, she could have held up. Yeah, she didn't hit it down the line uh, like she wanted to. Yeah. If I were her in, in her shoes, I would have set up, elevated, and held up and get the avoidable call. Failure to move on her part of her opponent. But as you said, she's kind of a half swing. Body language can speak wonders. Speaking of wonders, Monsija backhand rollout, 8-4, game three. Getting a little more engaged and uh, animated, huh? Certainly is. Looks like she now has got the momentum going in her favor. We're seeing uh, several different games taking place here in the first uh, three games of this match. Another we, point. And we welcome head of the Chilean Federation, Patricio Gatica, and Paola's brother, Jaime Hithard Monsija. Just missed it. Misjudged it. Side out. Aguilar comes in to serve and a point, 5-9. Gatica and Mancija, they all live in Temuco in Chile. Where they were the host of this tournament twice in the pre previous decade. Aguilar, hometown favorite here from the capital. Up top. Skipped it in. She tracked that ball well, but didn't get enough impetus on that shot. Time out on the floor from Chile. Yes, we'll stay here. Nos quedamos acá. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this tournament, Gustavo. Back in 1981, International Racquetball Federation was formed, much to the efforts of Luke St. Ange, Keith Calkins, and some other principals. 1987, the par uh, park. Pan Am Racquetball Confederation started and they implemented this event called the Torneo de las Americas. First one was where? In Caracas, Venezuela, 1987. And here we are, 2023. You and I were a tad older. We participated in this event many times. Uh, we missed three sessions, two for COVID and one for another reason. So 37 years with 34 events. Uh, we don't know the site next year yet. It may be in Buenos Aires in uh, Argentina. That would be a treat. Go to panamsports.com. You can see all the sports that are going to be played in the upcoming Pan Am 2023 game, Santiago, Chile. Racquetball will be one of those. We're excited about that and continue our passion with hopes to someday get us to the Olympics. So we continue play in game three. John Hauko, our chief referee, maintaining control here. Speaking of control, Aguilar puts the ball into the floor and gives her opponent 
game point number one here. Good timeout call by Monsija, even though that was a very much an unforced error. Bottom line economics, you got a point and the serve. Ball live, nope. Yeah, I made it. Wow. Ball barely veered off that front wall. You thought it made it, okay, I, I, I had my doubt. But doesn't matter what we think. It's what Dr. Hauko thinks. His word is law, at least in this match. So 7-10. And 7-11, Monsija closes it out. Fist pump. She enjoys a two game to one lead when we return in two minutes. She'll try to close it out in the girls 18 plus singles division. Vamos a un comercial y regresamos en dos minutos. We're here, Broadcast Central, court number six at the Complejo Nacional de Racquetball, Guatemala City, the capital of Guatemala. Aguilar from Guatemala is serving. She's won one game. Mancilla from Chile has won two games. And here we are, Gustavo. Mancilla does not want to see it go five. She wants to end it right here, demonstrated by that powerful forehand rollout right in front of Aguilar. Yeah, with, with a little bit of a lull in game two, she's maintained control of this match. In game two, uh, she was right there on the cusp. She lost 9-11. Nice return. After, ball. after all that effort, unfortunate, yeah. unforced error. Some basic racquetball here from a coaching standpoint. Aguilar twice had the base the passing lanes available and hit it right back to her opponent. She did. Hauko, our principal referee, calls that short second serve. Drive serve line on both sides of the court. Línea de servicio para la pantalla. Y 
uh, reverse winner. Again, she had that left side pass open and Paola poached right and was able to retrieve it. But the next opportunity for Aguilar, she was able to reverse backhand pinch winner. Well said. Balls down. We're all even up here 2-2. Two, two. This is the shortest day of our transmissions. Historically, today would be a, a day off, Dia Descanso. Not any longer. Too many matches to run. There's a financial concern as well. It was enjoyable, though, to be able to use this day off Especially for the players to kind of regroup, get some rest, come back strong the, the Wednesday. Uh, and anyone else that was here, referees and whatnot, opportunity to go and visit the city of which we were playing in. So that's unfortunate. But as you said, for yes. those financial reasons, we're playing straight through and have been for some years now. Correct. Well, more recently, They've shortened the day. We're starting later and ending earlier, which is tremendous for us. All being said, my friend, uh, that should be avoidable. All being said, still broadcasting anywhere from eight to 12 matches per day. Much to the joy, hopefully, uh, of our viewing audience on the Pan Am Sports Channel and International Racquetball Federation Facebook and YouTube. 3-2 is what I heard, referee. That was a little lazy on her part. She didn't read that jam. That ball would have retrieved, given her an opportunity off that right side wall. See ya, another avoidable. So is it a function of conditioning? Is she tired or poor shot selection or all of the above? Well, you, you bring up a good point. I think it is all of the above, obviously tired and it's shown not only in her shot. Uh, she's had the shot opportunity, she just She's just brought the, the ball to the center of the court. It hasn't yeah. been a, a down the line. She's not done that well. And the other, she's a lot of the ones that she's skipped by her feet is because she's been tired. Yeah, and, and met mental fatigue as well as physical fatigue. This is day four of the event. Uh, she's playing multiple divisions. She's playing juniors and adults. She's playing singles and doubles. Yeah. Uh, it comes back to haunt you sometimes. Um, then again, some of the elite athletes are playing three events. Uh, Gabby Martinez, Paola Longoria, doesn't affect, in our opinion, it doesn't affect them. So uh, we're here at the 34th edition of the Pan Am Racquetball Championships. As Gustavo so eloquently uh, told you earlier, Venezuela, Caracas, the capital, 1987. We right. don't know where next year will be, but we're hoping Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, Argentina, quite possibly. We'll see. We're back now. Speaking of Buenos Aires, with our Senor players, Macrino. With our players in the court ready to go here. Aguilar serving 6-2. Good timeout by Mancija. Quality timeout, valuable timeout. Earns the serve and a point. Front wall, side wall, kiss winner. Aguilar trying to force a fifth game tie break. We haven't had one in a while. Jam serve. Is that 
Garcia is not doing much with it. Leave it in center court. That's important. That's impressive, I should say, and important because she scores a point and reverses forehand into the left corner. Winner. 8-3. Reverse again. Kicks out. Ace. Irretrievable serve, folks. Practice that on your own. Caught Monsija off guard. There it is again. She got away with a loose reverse Z that time, Gustavo. Scored the point. And guess what, folks? Game point number one in game four for Aguilar. She has dominated this game four. Well, maybe uh, the over-under for this game uh, <laughs> wasn't met, so she decided to put one into the floor. It's now 4-10. Little levity never hurt, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Four serving 10. Backhand Z lob. Wide angle. Winner, left corner. Inching back, 5'10". Referee could have uh, called a hold up on that. She raised her hand, he did not. M made her play through if she would have skipped it. Now if, if Moncia loses this game, she'll have the option to serve in the fifth game. She's outscored her opponent. And it gets an option she could elect to receive if she wants to. Both gals appear tired, winded at least. 6'10". Aguilar needing to close this out now. Dead ball hinder, no avoidable. Replay first serve. Looking for that avoidable, didn't get it. Great serve there, Gustavo. Some pr impressive ceiling balls from both of these young ladies. Wow, from her right knee. Full forehand stroke. Gets point seven. We have a timeout on the floor. Bueno, vamos a un comercial. Regresamos en un minuto. Gustavo, Adrian to our right. This is tremendous racquetball, Gustavo. Girls 18 singles. It's highly likely we're going to go, at least the odds are, we'll go to a fifth game. However, Mancia says no. We'll see. Receiving player can score on a, on any point, on any on any return. So I've got a long way to go, Mancia. She's got to score five straight times to win this match. Right. At She's, least three to tie it up yeah. and force what could be overtime. Yeah, one thing she did do was she earned the opportunity to serve even if she's on the receiving end of this game, receiving the next game. So we're back live, 7-10. Okay, folks, the game is over. 11-7 in favor of Aguilar. What happened on that last shot? The ball cleared the inbound area above the 12-foot line. Point for the receiver. We'll, we'll be back in two minutes for our fifth and defining game. Good choice.
Before we continue this tie break, saludos to Edith Cohen, Wayne Pesach in Buenos Aires, Argentina, Mancilla, Chile serving to Aguilar, Guatemala, Gustavo. 0-0, zero, zero. game five, going to 11, must win by two. Aguilar has stayed in it. Games two and four in her favor. I have to admit, your comment, mentally and physically, Mancija looked tired in the game she lost. Right now, sometimes you have to come back and play with just all of your heart. It's like what we have, exactly, it's what we have to do with the computer sometimes, refresh it. So hopefully she's refreshed. And she finds herself with a one point deficit here. Sometimes just finding that one shot that brings you back into the match is all you need to refresh your system. Will we go overtime in this fifth game, Gustavo? Uh, looks very possible. Creeping up one at a time here, 2-2. Two, two. Girls 18 singles. Mancia, Mancia, depending on from which country you reside. Is also playing in the adult division. Singles and doubles. She may have yet another mixed match today with her brother. Yeah, in, England, in uh, American football terms, I call her an all-purpose running back. Ball left up. Ball live. Skipped it in, did everything right except for the shot, tracked it well, elevated the racket, moved her feet, and then skip. Tres sirviendo dos. En este set vamos a once. Kudos to Halko Gustavo. He's doing a wonderful job controlling this match. It's a good one for him to do here on center court. A lot of exposure, good exposure for our referee, our professional referee team. And He's done uh, an excellent job. Federation president for Canada, be proud, is proud, Monsieur Gagnon, one of the team Canada coaches here. And our exercise partner each morning in the gymnasio at the, at the Clarion. We missed him this morning. I think that's because we were there at six and he was there at five. Nice get by Aguilar. A little bit late on that. That first step is so important, folks. The push off step. Wanting the maintenance crew to come in and 
dry the court. Don't want anybody getting hurt. Where is Senor Aragon? There he is. We're using six of the 10 available courts here for this tournament today. Here he is coming into the court. Let's see, uh, takes care of that quickly, gets out. Let's keep this game moving, keep the crowd engaged. Here a lot, of, a lot more racquetball to come this afternoon. We're going to a women's double after we take a break. Well, we'll see how long the break is because we're approaching the one o'clock hour. Right now it's about 12.35 Mountain Daylight Time. Uh, Aguilar serving to Mancia, 4-4, empate, cuatro iguales. Great serve. Forced a deep court offensive opportunity. Wasn't an opportunity, offensive shot. She put it in her floor here. By her five floor, five by four, her, five four. By her foot. Jams her. That's impressive, Gustavo. Great serve, got her on the defensive. It's, it's very difficult to read. Is she gonna go reverse to the right or jam in the middle? It's the same stroke, She's point of contact. Now she goes back with the Z. Oh my, in Spanish, I don't know what the name is, but in French it's called a faux pas. Mental mistake. Aguilar let the ball by her and it hit uh, her opponent. Well, that'll help. A gift. Unforced errors. What makes rally scoring exciting is that the unforced errors, a lot of times with the way the scoring was before, only scoring when you serve, this game could get very long. And that can't yeah. happen here. Everybody's scoring every, someone's scoring every point. That's a good point. Because when you don't get a, when it's not rally scoring, when you're serving, chances are you'll be more aggressive on that shot. And if you miss hit a shot, you don't give up a point. Nice return off the glass. A lot of loose shots until the rally ending one. Great rally, timeout, Chile. We'll, uh, vamos a un comercial, breve comercial y regresamos con ustedes. We're back live. Mazarov here. Gustavo's taking a short break here. So Aguilar serving. 8-5. Make that 9-5. Tiempo vacío for Chile. See. Si. Nueve sirve a cinco. Trace Paredes, falta, second serve. Aguilar trying to close this out and win three games to two in the girls' 18 singles. Monsija trying to hold her off. First to 11, win by two.
And now we have match point number one. Aguilar, Guatemala, 10. Mancilla, Chile, five. Fifth set, match point. It's a jam serve, came up long, second serve. So she's been able to switch, flip her jams and her reverse Zs to the right. Difficult to read. Up top. Mancia holds off match point number one. Point for Chile, 6-10. Six, 6-10 ten. Six, ten serving. Match point number two for the receiver. And took her two opportunities, she cashed in. Aguilar, Guatemala, sobre Mancilla, Chile, Trace sets to two. And we'll be back with another feed in about 20 minutes. Thank you for joining in on the Pan American Sports Network.